know, two years ago when we started this whole mission, you know, we had this, uh, this idea that we were out there collecting, we designed it, you know, we talked about all of the cool stuff that was going to go on. This is just kind of connecting it to the past, but it, it really, it really is talking about both the next generation of acquisition out here and processing. And, and we even, you know, mentioned things like the 3D, 3C, the mud city. Uh, it's about 500 square miles of data when it's all said and done here that we're looking at. Those are all shoots that you guys actually have. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, we got a lot of data. So, and this, I think was an important slide back in the time that tried to demonstrate, you know, what, where we're going and what we're doing. And it was just really to focus on the, on the density of the data, but then it also looked at some timeframes of, of, of collecting 3d data out here. We talked about how we were, you know, collecting greater than 10 times the amount of information. Well, we're going to look at a comparison that does a hundred times uh, that in this presentation. The first point I'm really trying to make is, is there's not a lot of shallow data here mm -hmm. uh, on the right where we have all sorts of uh, new information over here. And what that's really telling us is we don't have any, if we don't have any shallow data. We don't have any short data. We don't have any near offset data. Well, that's a key component. What, what's the orientation of this image? This is an east-west line cutting across a survey. So it cuts right from the central basin platform over here on the left side, comes down the slope. So you're looking at the uh, Sprayberry and the Wolf Camp section thickening up out here. And then you get out into the valley, out of, out of the basin here. Uh, and you got the thicker portion of the basin. This would be like the Barnett Woodford down in here. Uh, this is kind of basement down at the, at the very bottom here. Um, but this is kind of the hot zone out here. If you look at the, the the new blue boxes here, which is which is the sample, the 41 and a quarter foot. Yeah. You, know, you can actually say, well, this box here is just a house. Yeah. You know, this is yeah. just a house. This is just a road. Right. Okay. Right. The, these thousand samples here are going to tell us this is a road. These thousand samples are going to tell us it's just a house. So what I did is I went out and, and studied, you know, kind of a standard or a typical frack stage these days is a 250 foot frack stage. And inside of that, you've got, say, uh, five uh, perfs or five cluster perfs. Well, if, if you look at this here, these, these uh, little yellow dots here uh, as being a perf stage, we're really trying to, I'm trying to illustrate that this is 250 feet across here. And for each perf cluster, I've got basically a single data point that you can relate back to. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. That is what is speaking straight to completion engineers, reservoir engineers. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a resolution that they are totally unfamiliar with. I, I, I would argue that most of them wouldn't even imagine that that's actually possible in the legacy data. It's just it's you're not. blurring. Yeah, yeah you're, you're mixing all that stuff you're together. Mixing, yeah, whoa. Yeah, and, you know, and sometimes you're mixing maybe a house in the backyard or you're mixing a carbonate in the sand or something, but there's a lot of places where you can clearly define just the sand or just the TOC or just the shale or whatever. So you got to, if you're going to say that, you got to be ready to follow this up with something that's real. <laughs> <laughs>